Hello everybody, I'm here to show you this crazy contraption that I've got going here. Uh, I've realized I haven't really shown you kind of how I built this darn thing. I've been showing you the hard drives and stuff. Anyway, um, I'm just going to kind of give you an overview of this darn thing. Let you guys check it out. Um, there's uh, one of my coils that's basically the uh, standalone 8 coil with no trigger and on the other side is the 8x1 coil Better to see that dude um, basically I've made a little uh, stand for the wheel two independent sides I screwed them down to the base um, you can see here uh, easy to just pop this wheel off comes right off so you can work on stuff without that in the way um, these little triangles here that are supporting the, the coils I just made those uh, in the beginning with 60 degrees in mind or 30 really and then uh, turned out you know to get the spacing right because I've got the two coils basically uh, in line with the magnets so center to center on those two um, so they fire at the same time basically is uh, that's kind of the idea I'm gonna mess around with this third coil I have which is has been in play before. It's this one here. That dude. Um, but it's it's uh it's basically like a four by two and it's twisted so it's different than those. I wanted to uh, play with this thing with two identical coils and I want to add some more but I'm figuring I'm gonna you know make make some new triangles and you know get these lined up but offset them so that the thing has a little more torque anyway that's something I was gonna play with wanted to show you that and then here's the crazy wiring I got going on but it's actually pretty simple using these uh, these terminal blocks that I got from Radio Shack and and Got all the dia or the uh, transistors from Radio Shack 2, and they fit in there pretty good. You got to bend the leads a little bit, but um, essentially, here's uh, kind of one of the setups. I'll show you this one. There's a terminal block with all the diodes in there. And the resistors, those are the negative leads. It's all ready for a uh, hookup. But that's using the, uh, the blade style transistors. All these I pulled out of some power supplies, and it doesn't seem to work as good as uh, one from Radio Shack, but I want to order some of them MJL uh, types. Can't remember the number right now, but. Anyway, uh, I guess one thing I've modified here and played with is going with this, uh, putting a bridge rectifier in here, and also uh, this is a an SCR right here. And this goes to the output. And that's brought my uh, my voltage spikes way up as compared to just tapping off of here. And you can see I've I've got basically all these transistors are in in uh, parallel with one another so all you know all these wires are separated but they could all be together and connected to essentially this collector bus right here and then the, these are connecting it to the other ones so it's kind of all one one big collector bus and uh, you know, I've, I've seen people use pipes and so it's a nice big fat line and I think that's important 
what I'm seeing. So, uh, what else can I say about this thing? Um, I don't know. Uh, it's still temporary because I'm messing around, but I'm I'm about ready to make it so I can do a few more coils on this thing. So it's going to be a little different here. I think I need to make a new stand because I'd like to maybe put some down down here. So I need more height. Uh, oh yeah, that's one thing I want to show you too is the magnets here. Um, I'm doing those different. These are actually the neodymiums, which they don't work so good in, in this situation, but I found these work just fine compared to uh, some of these ceramic ones I got. Anyway, you saw from my other videos, this is the setup I had with the hard drive magnets here. These are all north facing. And I want to show you that I just got these pressure fit in here. And basically I'm using the spokes to line them up. I've got eight, 18 of these guys around the wheel. Uh, but if you notice I drilled these holes in the back so that I can actually hammer out these magnets to change them. Well, I'm just, I'm just using a nail. So there's, there's the big hole, little hole, use a nail. To uh, pound them out, so that's worked good. So there's uh, eight little round magnets in each one of these holes. Um, basically, uh, just a little stack like like that, pounded into those. Say they're all north facing, um, and so it's a true monopole uh, motor I'm working with. Anyway, uh, I was going to show you this running. I'm going to set this camera up on a tripod and show you some other stuff. And so we'll see you on the next cut.